How to sell Notion templates on Gumroad. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step what you, what you need to do to create a Notion template of your own and go ahead and sell it for actual money on Gumroad. So it's going to be a step by step tutorial, just feel free to stick around and I'm going to show you exactly that. Basically, it's just going to help you out, you will be able to uh, go ahead and create your very own unique templates It's just going to do a specific function or act a specific way or showcase a specific thing uh, and people can use it and you can just keep it for free or you can actually go ahead and sell it for some money which we will be doing right now so to get started you will need to go to notion obviously and log into your account and here we would want to start by creating a new template so we can just go to um the private one here and just go ahead and, and create a new page here and basically uh, when you want to create a new template uh, you would want to have an idea of exactly what you want to do there's plenty that you can do with notion just feel free to look a few you know, things up from the internet see exactly what you want to create um, and once you're content with that we can just go ahead and start applying it uh, in our actual notion account so we can just go ahead and start by adding an icon for it uh for example so we can just go ahead and add this one uh or anything that is related to what you want really so for, for example if it's money related so we can just go ahead and do that uh we can also add a cover image which also helps so just go ahead and add this i'm just going to leave it as it is uh, and then we would want to move down to the title just a side note i'm not really going to focus too much on creating the template because each person is going to create a completely different template from one another um and i don't really have any ideas right now but yeah i'm just going to do a specific random stuff so you can see it later on so i'm just going to do a test template and in here we can just go ahead and add a new page within it maybe for example we can just create some chapters for example um or we can just do whatever so we can just do a uh, test two uh, and just leave it like that and if we just go back we have this page we would want to also add a few things like um let's add a toggle list and we would want to name it um more uh, and we would want to have a few things here one then two and then three okay so you can just go ahead and add exactly what you want i'm just going to i believe i'm just going to stick with this maybe just add one last thing before we move on which is going to be um a heading which says uh this is a test template there you go Okay, so this is going to be the template that I have right now. We have a, another page within it. We have uh, this drop-down menu, and we have a heading. So, let's say you completed your template, and you actually wanted to sell it with in Gumroad. It's very easy to do. Basically, we would want to have a link to this template, and we would want to sell that link. It's that simple. So, just go ahead to the share option here. And you would want to go ahead and click on copy link and keep this page open just in case. Now, we are pretty much done with Notion for the time being. So we'd want to go to Gumroad now and go ahead and start the selling process. How to list it and so on. I will show you exactly. Okay, so go to Gumroad.com. If you don't have an account, create one. It's for free. Basically, Gumroad is um, a free platform that you can sell a, a lot of things within it, like courses, digital products, and so on. Uh, and the good thing about it is that you don't really have to pay anything to sign up or a subscription fee or anything. It's just that when you actually make a sale, they're going to take a percentage off of it. A flat fee, which is uh, like tiny little fee, it's not really going to affect you much. So go ahead and create an account if you don't have one already within Gumroad. So just go to gumroad.com, create an account, and get to this page. Uh, to get to this page, you would want to just click on your profile icon on the top right. 
And here you should find yourself within uh, this section here where you will have home products uh, and more stuff that we don't really want to dig in deep right now. Now, what we want to worry about is this products section. Click on that. And then from here, you will find a list of the products that you have already listed. Um, now, ignore those. If you don't have any products yet, it's not going to show you anything. We don't really need those. Uh, and I'm just going to click on, uh, on the top right, new product. Great. So now that we are in this page, what are you creating? Uh, the first thing is that we need to add a name to it. So we would want to name it something like Notion template. But for you, you would want to name it a little bit, something that is more unique to it. So maybe... Um, for example, I have this expense uh, finance tracker, which is going to track your expenses and so on. So if you want to have something like this, you would want to name it something like finance tracker template for Notion or, you know, something along the lines of that. So go ahead and give it a name. And then here we would want to select what type of product it is. Now you can see now already you can, you know, have courses, ebooks, and so on. But we want to sell a digital product, so just keep it as digital product or select it. And then the last thing within this page is going to be uh, adding your price. So just go ahead and add the price for this. I'm just going to do five for the time being, but obviously it's completely up to you and how much you think it is actually worth. And once you're happy with the pricing, and there, there are going to be more options when it comes to pricing later on, but for the time being, we can just keep it and click on Next Customize. In here, you would have the customization page. You can see it on the right side, and we can edit it within this here. So we can add a description to it. This is a uh, Notion template, which... Sorry, which is a test. Okay. And then here, URL, I'm just going to leave it as it is. If you want to change it to something like um, Notion, Tim, I'm actually going to change it so you can see Notion templates. And then here, if you want to add your custom domain, you can do so. If you want to add a cover image, which is the white one on the right side, you can feel free to change it by clicking on upload and upload an image that is proper for you. Uh, let's see if I can just find a image here real quick. Uh, sure. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, now that we added this, we can see we can add a thumbnail. We can add um, call to action. Call to action is pretty much the uh, button, what the button actually says. Basically, for some reason, I was actually recording this already. Uh, but uh, OBS did not work, so I did uh, write this uh, like right now. But yeah, I, I realized that I was not recording, so I had to redo it. So it's very simple. Call to action is going to be the um, button that what it is wrote, uh, what is written uh, within the actual button, and then we can choose one of those three. Unfortunately, we cannot really choose something that is custom, so we can just choose this one. Uh, and then add a summary, which is going to show right down here at the bottom right from the actual preview, as you can see. Uh, if you want to add additional details, you can feel free to do so. And integrations are going to be something like Discord server or communities and so on. We can add them if you want. Uh, and in here within the pricing, we can actually adjust a few things now. We can either adjust the actual pricing if we messed up last time, or we can just allow customers to pay what they want. So basically in here, we can change the minimum amount. So for example, we can change the minimum amount uh, to be $2. So they can choose to pay $2 or up. And you can also insert a suggested amount. So this is pretty much the amount where you would think uh, this is how much it is actually worth. So like, yeah, just incentivize, uh, incentivize them to purchase with a specific amount. For example, 5 but I'm just going to turn this off and keep it as 5 to guarantee that people are going to actually pay $5 for it. Uh, if you have multiple versions for this one, you can add them in here. It's completely up to you and it's going to add as a bundle thing. Uh, they can purchase it separately as well. So yeah. 
And then we have more settings here. Uh, you would want to go, to go ahead and actually check them out and uh, make sure you have them uh, accordingly. For example, this one or the taxes, this one is going to be a refund and so on. So make sure you read through them and allow them accordingly. And once we are done with this, we can just click on save and continue, which is going to take us to the content. Now within the content, it's very simple. In here, you would want to go ahead and get, uh, paste the link uh, to the actual template, which is this one right here. We would want to click on share, and then we would want to click on copy link and paste it over here. Once we are happy with this, uh, if you want to add more stuff, it's feel free to do so. But once we are happy with this, we can just click on publish and continue. And this is pretty much how we have it now basically you would want to copy this link share it on facebook share it on your social media share it on wherever you want to share it and try to market it as much as you can so people can actually view it and maybe even purchase it with that being said this is pretty much how to sell templates from notion uh, and how to sell them on gumroad i hope that you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching